Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of the State of Israel, Lieutenant General Benny Gantz, and an accompanying delegation at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness welcomed the Minister and his accompanying delegation to the Kingdom of Bahrain and expressed his hope that their visit would contribute to enhancing bilateral cooperation between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed Bahrain's dedication to promoting mutual understanding, dialogue, tolerance and peaceful coexistence between peoples. His Royal Highness also reiterated Bahrain's commitment to supporting international efforts to consolidate global and regional peace, stability and sustainable development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister highlighted that the Memorandum of Understanding signed by both countries during Lieutenant General Khan's visit to Bahrain serves to develop bilateral relations and promote cooperation. His Royal Highness noted that the signing of this MOU builds upon the work of the Abraham Accords and efforts to solidify regional security. During the meeting, regional and international developments and issues of common interest were also discussed. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Defense, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, also attended the meeting. The Speaker of the Representative Council, Fawzia Zainal, visited Expo 2020 Dubai as part of her official visit to the United Arab Emirates upon the invitation of the Speaker of the UAE Federal National Council, Sagar Obash. Zainal affirmed that the UAE became the center of the world attention through the Expo, noting that it demonstrates the important status that the United Arab Emirates holds through holding the largest global gathering since the beginning of the world expositions and the first of its kind in the Middle East. Zainal also visited Bahrain's pavilion at the Expo, expressing appreciation to Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities for their efforts. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, Zayed Azayani, granted 16 employees of the Authority the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medical Merit in implementation of the Royal Order and the Directive of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to grant the merit to frontline workers. Azayani affirmed that His Majesty the King's pride and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's commendation of the dedicated frontline national caters is a strong incentive to continue efforts to combat the pandemic and protect the health and safety of all. The minister stated that the authority, despite difficult health circumstances, continued its ambitious projects, plans, programs, initiatives and campaigns to boost the tourism sector and has launched an incentive program to support Bahraini travel and tourism companies and support them in expanding their businesses and increasing their competitiveness. For their part, the authority staff who received the merit expressed pride in the honoring, affirming that it will encourage them to continue serving the kingdom's economy and the tourism sector and ensuring the maximum effectiveness of the measures taken to combat the coronavirus. The National Space Science Agency confirmed the successful operation of the Light One satellite in its orbit as it opened its solar panels and sensors and successfully sent the first signal to the ground stations, thus confirming the safety of the satellite. The work team of the Light One satellite expressed pride in the satellite's second stage successful launch, expressing hope that the data obtained will be an important scientific and technical addition to the international community through a better understanding of the science of light, lighting, identification of the types and effects of thunderstorms, provision of important and useful information and data for the aviation sector, and the improvement of the scientific research by providing data that was not previously available in the Middle East. They added that the live broadcast of the event on Bahrain TV emphasizes the importance of this step as a beginning of work in the space field. The Civil Aviation Affairs at the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications has announced that based on the recommendations of the National Medical Task Force for Combating Coronavirus, the entry procedures to the Kingdom via the Bahrain International Airport will be updated starting from Friday, the 4th of February. The update stipulates that all passengers arriving in the Kingdom no longer need a PCR test before boarding their plane. Meanwhile, all precautionary health measures currently in force 
will continue to be followed. They include taking a PCR test upon arrival and the precautionary quarantine for unvaccinated passengers. The Civil Aviation Affairs indicated that all entry procedures to the Kingdom can be viewed through the website of the Ministry of Health on healthalert.gov.ph. Radio Bahrain 96.5, operated and managed by Radio Bahrain Company, wholly owned by Mumtalakat, the sovereign wealth fund of the government of Bahrain, has unveiled its new identity within its development strategy. The new visual identity was inspired by the legacy of the old radio station, the first radio station in Bahrain to broadcast in the English language. The new identity reflects the evolution of radio and expresses the essence of the innovative identity characterized by modern aesthetic touches. The new theme, Alive with Music, expresses the uniqueness of the station in providing refined music and entertainment programs that reach listeners in Bahrain and the eastern region in Saudi Arabia. The radio has recently added many new programs to its grid presented by prominent and experienced broadcasters. Radio Bahrain 96.5 operates around the clock to offer listeners of different cultures and ages a select mix of music and entertainment as well as the latest local and international news. The service reaches around six and a half million listeners in Bahrain and the eastern region and other parts of the Gulf. We are 45 years old uh, this year. Uh, it's an honor to be uh, rebranding Radio Bahrain 96.5. Um, radio is an evolving media. It's changing. There are cameras involved. There's social media involved. So it's not just typical radio anymore. We have to evolve with the new generations. Although people still want radio in their cars, in their homes, not just screens all the time. So 96.5 Radio Bahrain, as well as the other radio stations in Bahrain, are all about community. How do we reach out to our community? How do we update our community? How do we let them know what's happening in our wonderful kingdom? There's a lot to tell, um, and I'm absolutely honored to be uh, you know, taking this journey into the future. I'm sure the, 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 the restart or the, 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 the beginning of a new uh, page will be as good as we imagine, and we want to bring back Radio Bahrain as we used to call it, the Gulf's number one. Uh, there's a lot in store. This is just the beginning. This is the first time in the history of Radio Bahrain 96.5 that we have our own brand identity. Uh, there's a lot in store. We're talking about brand new live shows, syndicated shows. So it's not just the brand, but it's a it's the radio station uh, as a whole. Um, you know, uh, markets change. Uh, you know, consumer behavior change. So we got to adapt, and this is just a small part of it. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,225,330 people have taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,195,382 have taken the second, and 943,881 had received the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 55,400 with 4,680 recoveries, 8,063 registered new cases and one death. There are 143 active cases receiving treatment and 23 patients in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,410 total deaths, while 341,855 recovered from the virus. The ministry offered its deepest condolences to the family of the deceased and urged everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.